Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time. I'm in the film business since quite a few years and I started editing when I was 11 years old. And right now I want to share my experiences with you and I want to show you the eight most awesome editing softwares that are available on the market currently. Four are for free, two are for advanced and uh, I don't know, ambitious users and two softwares are for the professional users. So let's get right into them and let's experience the free softwares at first. Let's get started. Windows users that don't want to pay for an editor should think of using Movie Maker. Movie Maker offers basic editing features. You can throw in basic effects and transitions, titles, etc. Maybe a good solution if you only want to throw a look at editing in general. Mac users have an even better free option than Windows users named iMovie. Basically, it offers about the same functions as the Movie Maker, but if you once get used to iMovie, you can later on think of upgrading to Apple's professional video editing software and you'll already have some kind of a feeling for the software's interface and the workflow in total. Next up is Lightworks that is available for both Windows and Mac. If you invest some time, Lightworks might be the number one editor that is available for free. Many professional tools and options are waiting to get discovered, but of course there are some cons as well. You are limited to MPEG for 720p videos, which means that high resolution videos such as Full HD or 4K can only be produced and rendered through a paid upgrade. If you're having no other editing option or only want to upload a basic film created out of a few clips only, you should think of using the YouTube editor. It's more than basic, but it does the job just fine. And there's one cool thing about YouTube. You can use YouTube's music library that offers free music even for monetized videos, which means you can generate a lot of money if you generate a lot of views. Okay guys, if free software doesn't fit your needs, let's check out these advanced solutions for ambitious users out there. Windows users that want to get into editing with several advanced and even some professional options should think of using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Even on slower computers or laptops, you can easily start editing high resolution footage. You can play it back without getting frustrated because the playback is stuttering badly or something like that. You can import all kinds of material and export in various resolutions up to cinematic 4K. And an inbuilt screen recorder makes the program interesting to techies and nerds as well. Mac users at that point could get started using ScreenFlow, which seems to be a pretty powerful solution at a pretty low pricing as well. One of the main advantages is the inbuilt screen recorder that at the same time is capable of recording your webcam and computer audio. Being honest, I haven't tested the program myself yet because I think that Apple's professional software isn't that much more expensive and I would probably start editing by using the free iMovie and then upgrade to the professional editor. And if advanced isn't professional enough, let's check out the professional editing solutions right now. Windows and Mac users both can enjoy the various advantages and the professional tools that Adobe Premiere Pro offers. Many professionals and a lot of the known content out there is cut with Premiere Pro, but let's not conceal the main con. Premiere Pro is not available as a one fee version, but has to be rented monthly at a pricing of around 16 bucks currently. The subscription on the other hand will keep you up to date always. No new software will ever be needed. All new effects come via updates, pretty cool. But to get Premiere Pro even more awesome and powerful, you should think of investing into Premiere Pro, the editor plus After Effects, the most awesome VFX tool on the market together at a monthly cost of about 40 bucks. Next to the money, you can for sure invest a lot of time to really get started with Adobe's software. Finally, let me recommend Final Cut Pro X, Apple's professional upgrade for iMovie and Mac users in general. A powerful editor that can be combined with several VFX and other plugins, very powerful and often seen in professional productions. The main pro is the one-time payment actually. On the other hand, I must clearly say that I think that Final Cut Pro is a little weaker than Adobe's solution. Okay guys, whatever software you are finally going to use, the most important thing is to have a great story, to have great shots and to trust into your work. The first piece is probably not going to look like a pure blockbuster, but with some experience and with some time, you are going to get into depth more and more and more. And uh, I think you'll be good to go at that point. And I think YouTube will greatly appreciate you working with a proper editor instead of just, I don't know, throwing pieces online that nobody wants to see because the beginning is too long and the ending is too long and you're just walking like the camera like this and all. Okay, I gotta turn the camera off. Okay, bye people, that was Tom from TD Jump Tech Time. Now, I'm not going to cut the end off. Stay tuned, leave a 
thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I